Five? Five star, I think, yeah. I'm wow. Yeah, what kind of reads do you play? Uh, usually I play the Van Doren Z series. Um, Van Doren is three. Good. Or like three and a half. Wow. Well, see that those guys are young with all this strength. Three, three and a half. That's great. And, and the sound you get is okay? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh-huh. I like rubber mouthpieces, you know. They have something different, you know. Yes. I yeah. use one. Huh? I use a rubber mouthpiece. You use a rubber mouthpiece? Okay. Question. In the newspaper, it looked to me like you were playing a Mark VI. Do you play Mark VI? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is a um, Mark VI, yeah. older one, you know. Yeah. yeah. Terrific. What year? Uh, well, I got it in um, the 50s. Wow. I got it. I got that horn and playing to that. I got that used. Was it already, uh, was, you know, used when I got it. Um, but I think it's a, um, I'm trying to think of the serial number. Uh, I think it's 130, 130 something, you know, 130 something series, you know. Oh, okay. Have you ever tried the Ebonite mouthpieces? Uh, no, I haven't. No, oh, maybe okay. a long time ago when I was a young guy like you, I tried all that stuff, you know. Yeah. But uh, is that what you're playing Ebonite? Yeah, on a burglar. Oh. Huh? A burglar Ebonite mouthpiece. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're really good. So Ebonite is sort of um, transparent, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have it. Oh, you have it. Oh, you have Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, no. This is just like a regular um, hard, hard rubber in a way. Yeah, they cover it in a rubber coating, but it's like Ebonite wood underneath it. Underneath? Yeah. Wow. It's bright. And there's a bright sound? Yeah. Wow. It's nice, it's a nice size. I like the uh, lay. It's a big lay. Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, man, I'm sorry I can't hear you guys. Well, actually... You, you I, guys might scare me. I don't know. It's <laughs> I've got a you. short video of these two separately. Oh, just yeah. like a, a minute for her and a half a minute for her. Just sure, a short sure. blip if you don't mind taking a look. Sure. Let's uh, see if I can make this work correctly here. Oh, come on now. Don't make a fool of me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> recognize that one probably. Right? She's got talent. And she's got talent. And her sister is 11, and she's been playing about nine months. And she well, who was playing the piano there? That was uh, your recording of Blue what, Room. What, in the background? In the background, she the needed the tempo to keep track of it. So right, whoever was sure. your keyboard? And that was one of the questions we were going to ask you is, Blue Room, we can't find out who did it first. We know that uh, Benny Goodman played it in 38. It was on that uh, Carnegie, Carnegie Hall, Hall recording. Oh, okay. But we couldn't ever figure out who it was, and we thought maybe we'd ask you if you know who did it. Well, that. I didn't know who did it at first. I mean, I first heard it just sort of um, as a show tune, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, But I didn't know who recorded you know, it. We couldn't find it anywhere on the, on the internet. Yeah. And then uh, this young lady didn't know a Sonny Rollins tune. 
So uh, she did a little candy dolfer thing. Oh, and she's candy 11, dolfer. so <laughs> let's see if we can get hers going now. And that's all we got. We just had a, I didn't have much nice video for yeah, yeah. And I don't have video of the other players. Um, yeah. Very nice tone. Jeremy's a uh, accomplished clarinet player. Jeremy, the taller gentleman there. Oh, really? And he did bring a clarinet with him if you were at oh. all interested. Have you got time for something like oh, you'd that? Would you like to play me a selection? Just a short. Clip, sure. maybe? Okay, well, let me sit down. Set, yeah. set, <laughs> set up your clarinet and play him a, a couple minutes worth, because I know you've got, a, you've got a busy schedule, and we don't want to keep you too much. Yes. Would you mind signing this? Sure, I'd be happy to. Here, we'll give you these. This uh, go ahead while he's setting. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, if you could make it out with Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Okay. Okay. Is it your teacher or somebody? Um, no, this is for me and then the other one's for my teacher. Oh, okay. Mr. Rollins? Okay. Okay. And if you yeah. could make this one out to Dave. Okay. Who is Dave? Um, he's my school band teacher. Um, oh, okay. Have you ever heard of uh, William Doc Jones? Doc Jones. He's played with the Aretha Franklin and um, let's see, the Tony Chicago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, I know him. Michael. Uh, that's his instructor. He's my teacher. Instructor, who we wanted to see if he could do yeah. a poster for. I'm sure I'd be happy to. We didn't know if we knew Doc, but anyway, we didn't like to think he'd be nice. Oh, do you know Doc as a good friend of you guys? Yeah, he's Michael's uh, jazz teacher. Oh, yeah, okay. This is just his band. This teacher. is my band. Oh, I see. Doc okay. is who he gets his lessons from. Most of these kids take private lessons, so they got a couple of teachers in Well, it's good to have a private so lesson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you Make it out just two dots. Yeah, sure. Right. Thank you very much. Doc. Oh, Doc Jones. Oh, oh Doc Jones. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about your director. That's Mr. <laughs> David. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. We have another, another teacher autograph request. Her instructor would have been here tonight, but it's his wedding anniversary. And he said he loved his wife just he said he loved his wife just this much more than Sonny Rollins. Oh, and he didn't want to get a divorce out of it. Happy anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Bruce Bjorn. That's the name. Bruce Bruce Bjorn B J O R N A. Okay, he must be Swedish. He may be. Yeah. But he's the first one to put a saxophone in her hands, and she no wants to kidding. reward him for it. Let me see. What did I do with my pen? I like my pen better than Ink this pen? one here. It's a little bit darker. I think this is your pen. Yeah, it's actually his. Okay. Just happy anniversary. Oh, Vinny Bjorn. Yeah. Right on Bruce and Bjorna is B J O R N A. I think there's a little thing over the J, right? And then just a signature.
Excellent. You just you just made one band teacher's mm -hmm. career for him. It's well, going to be a sorry, price and, uh, I couldn't see him tonight, but thank you so much. That'll make up for it, I'm certain. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Rollins. Wow. <laughs> That's my license. Yes. Right? You can tell wow. I love jazz sax, you know. All right. <laughs> it's, uh, we got right. Warren Hill and Mindy A. Bear on there already. Oh, and... the no oh that's great. So. Jazz sax, boy. I should get one of these, right? You got to. Then I won't get any tickets, right? Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> jazz sax. Okay. That's great. Okay, thank you very, very much. Okay. My teacher actually gave me this to get signed by you, and he told me to give you the CD and oh. say, what's the deal with the CD? What did I do with okay. that? Is there a story behind it or something? Oh, Sonny Meets Hawk? This is uh, the great Coleman Hawkins. You yeah. Bet. He said there was some type of interesting story or oh, story Oh, there's no interesting stories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, what's his name? Is he Adam uh, Roberts. Is, should I put Adam Roberts? Yeah. Or? Yeah, Adam. Adam is good enough. And what does he play? Is he? Sax. Okay. And he was here tonight. Oh, okay. tolerate one more. This is for sure. a gentleman who does transcriptions. And he um, he did St. Thomas <laughs> as one of the ones that he trans he transcribed it for alto for Michaela to play because she's an alto player. Okay, does she play it? Uh, she plays it on clarinet this is afternoon, didn't you? Or was yeah. that oh, yeah. But, um, did did you get the feeling of it every day? I think I got the calypso feeling. I think it Good. Did. They're learning it in her class now in school. Mm -hmm. Right. But the drummer's having a uh, bit of a problem with the samba. Right, the, right. The Latin beats just mess her up. Yeah. Oh, she's a girl drummer? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that beat is a little special. I mean, it's a little different. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's very elemental. And uh, she can get it, you know. I've had a lot of, um, through the years, I've had a lot of musicians, drummers, that have played with me that didn't, wasn't able to play that. Yeah. I had to kind of show it to them and listen to it over and over. So it's something, once you get it, it's, you know. Anyway. <laughs> 